To examine what it takes to compete in a marathon, we brought in an Olympic medalist and champion long distance runner who goes by the name Meb. First, cardiac output. During a marathon, a distance equivalent to about 461 football fields, Meb produces more than 1,400 joules of energy per second. That's roughly the pulling power of two horses. To produce this amount of energy, getting oxygen-rich blood to the muscles is key. Elite marathoners like Meb have hearts that can pump over 10 gallons of blood per minute nearly twice the volume of an average heart. Next, biomechanics. A marathoner's legs can experience a peak force of up to 2.7 times their body's weight with every stride for more than 23,000 strides. Sensors attached to Meb's shoes reveal how his finely tuned biomechanics minimize this pounding. With each step, his foot is in contact with the ground for just 17 hundredths of a second, 30% less time than the average marathoner. In fact, Meb spends about 75% of the entire race completely airborne. When the lower leg is perpendicular to the ground during foot strike, the tendons and muscles are at their most elastic, effectively acting like springs. Throughout an entire marathon, Meb's contact angles are consistently within two degrees of vertical. This enables Meb to most efficiently transfer energy from the ground back to his muscles, propelling him forward nearly six feet with every stride. Finally, pace. At three steps per second, Meb's running cadence is more than 70% of the speed of Usain Bolt's cadence. And Meb maintains this rate for more than two hours. Throughout a 26.2 mile marathon, Meb averages almost 12 miles an hour and his speed never drops by more than half a mile an hour. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.